Yo, 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 viewers, we got some Capcom up in here and some Searware or whatever. I don't even give a damn. I, I, I'll mispronounce it on my own time because guess what? We got some Resident Evil 4 up in here. Yes, yeah, some Resident Evil 4. Good. I think it might be a little overplayed on YouTube, but I don't even give a damn because it's starting my main man, Leon S. Kennedy. And you know what? I love Leon S. Kennedy. He's amazing. He gets stuff done. He's not even part of, like, the BSAA or whatever. I don't even just... Leon S. Kennedy, yo. PS3 remake. That's what I'm playing because it looks amazing and it controls pretty well. It's a little wonky, yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna get started. We need to get this on the road. I need to get going. Resident I gotta Evil shut up. Let the cutscenes play. Okay, starting. 1998. I'll never forget it. It was the year when those grisly murders occurred in the Arklay Mountains. Soon after, the news was out to the whole world, revealing that it was the fault of a secret viral experiment conducted by the international pharmaceutical enterprise, Umbrella. The virus broke out in a nearby mountain community, Raccoon City, and hit the peaceful little town with a devastating blow crippling its very foundation. Not taking any chances, the President of the United States ordered a contingency plan to sterilize Raccoon City. With the whole affair gone public, the United States government issued an indefinite suspension of business decree to Umbrella. Soon its stock prices crashed, and for all intents and purposes, Umbrella was finished. Six years have passed since that horrendous incident. I received special training via a secret organization working under the direct control of the president. I was to assume the responsibility of protecting the new president's family. Cornia, why am I the one who always gets the short end of the stick? Yo, who are you really? Come on and tell us. You are a long way from home, cowboy. You have my sympathies. Guess that's a local's way of breaking the ice. Anyway, you know what this is all about. My assignment is to search for the president's missing daughter. What? All by yourself? <laughs> I'm sure you boys didn't just tag along so we could sing Kumbaya together at some Boy Scout bonfire. Then again, maybe you did. Oh, you crazy American. It's a direct order from the chief himself. I tell you, it's no picnic. I'm counting on you guys. It was right before I was to take on my duties of protecting the President's daughter when she was abducted. That's the ultimate reason I'm in this lonely and rural part of Europe. According to our intelligence, there's reliable information about a sighting of a girl that looks very similar to the President's daughter. Apparently she's being withheld by some unidentified group of people. Who would have thought that my first job would have been a rescue mission? Freezing. So cold all of a sudden. Eh, must be my imagination. Sorry it took so long. Just up ahead is the village. I'll go and have a look around. 
We'll stay and watch that car. Don't want to get any parking tickets. Right. Parking tickets. Good luck. Jeez. Who are these guys? Did you say something? Leon, I hope you can hear me. I'm Ingrid Hunnigan. I'll be your support on this mission. Loud and clear. Somehow I thought you'd be a little older. So the subject's name's Ashley Graham, right? That's right. She's the daughter of the president. So try to behave yourself, okay? <laughs> Whoever this group is, they sure picked the wrong girl to kidnap. I'll try to find some more information on my end as well. Good. Talk to you later. Leon out. Alright, so we got files, we got inventory, we got stuff, we got Leon, we got playing manual one. Let me tell you something. We got shooting, knifing, action buttons, and camera angles. Alright, you got that? Pretty simple stuff. We got the communication log that we do. We got the president's star info, our objective, kidnappers, unidentified motives, rural Europe, which is actually Spain. We all know it's Spain because they speak Spanish, and the only country in Europe that speaks Spanish is Spain, supposedly. Rural part of Spain. We got our inventory, handgun bullets, handgun, and first aid spray. All right, simple enough. We're going to go on with the mission, except we can talk to people. <laughs> Forget your makeup or something? Yeah, that's right. He says he insults us. I think he needs to die. Get this over with, will you? Fine, we can't shoot him. Get this over with, will you? We can try, but we can't do it. Let's go over the bridge. Not that way, cowboy. Fine, we'll take the linear path that we have to. Gosh, I just want to do some sightseeing. I mean, how often do I get to go to Spain, let alone a rural part of Spain? Also, crows, they carry stuff. So if you shoot them, you get stuff. So, you know, if you want to wait to pull out a crow, you can you know, get them out of here. Sometimes good stuff for him. Yeah. So we got a foreshadowing part there. So we're going to go in the house. We're just going to check the stuff, which is nothing particular. Uh, excuse me. Sir? I was wondering if you might recognize a girl in this photograph. Que carajo estás haciendo aquí? Lárgate, cabrón! Sorry to have bothered you. Freeze! I said freeze! Oh god, call me a bastard, huh? I shoot you, and then I kill you, using everything in the play man. Then I'm going to knife you. That's right, knife you. Oh, I shake you. Prison goes fine. Is everything okay? There was a hostile local. I had no choice but to neutralize him. There are still others surrounding the area. Get out of there and head toward the village. Take whatever measures necessary to save the subject. Understood. We got the okay to neutralize every subject. Hostile locals and whatnot. We got bones in the fireplace. We got not a zombie. But he still called us a bastard. That's right. I know a few things about Spanish. They killed people, so he was a bastard. He was a cabrón. Cabrón. There we go. I can't shoot the window. That's great. It's all right. We can jump out of it, but in a second. We got bullets, yo. We got bullets. We need all the bullets. And then we're going to jump out. Um, we're going to jump out like a movie star, like we're something important. The guys are going to try to hit us. They're going to try to stab us with weapons. They're not very nice. So you know what? They're hostile. They're locals. We gotta neutralize them. We gotta try not to get hurt. 
Because, you know, prison rules apply. They always... Oh, man. Guy just put an axe to us. Leon's still okay. See, this is why Leon is awesome. This is why I'm not very good at DPSs. Oh, but I picked them both. They shanked them both. That's gotta be a new record. And we got handgun bullets. That's very good. We need all the handgun bullets we can carry. Cause they're gonna be missing a lot. <sighs> Anyways. So I know a little bit of Spanish. That guy was telling us either we should not be here or the president's daughter is not in there. Something about not here. Just like my dad, I shot them all because I actually can get the gist of a little bit of Spanish and what people are saying. One time my dad had like a bunch of people oh, over no. I was visiting him. One of them called me fat. They didn't think I knew Spanish, so they were talking behind my back right in front of me. I knew exactly what they were saying, and I shocked them all with the fact that I could figure out what they were saying. Then they went to more advanced forms of Spanish, and I couldn't understand the damn thing they said. Anyways, I'm gonna end part one here. We're gonna continue on tomorrow, and for like seven more days and stuff, and then we're going back to The Walking Dead. But after that week, we're going back to Resident 4! Why am I talking about the future like it's just happening?